Hello, this is Michael Grant with Applied CAX. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, setting up Mold Wizard in a custom environment and also um, accessing your templates so that you can customize your initialization templates in order to simplify them or make changes um, that allow for uh, you to capture your preferences. So here I've got um, a custom uh, environment. If you search the uh, Siemens GTAC web page, you can uh, search for the custom environment download for the version that you uh, are searching for. And then there's um, instructions for setup. We'll provide links for uh, this download uh, for NX10 and NX11. So here I've got the NX10, um, and I'm going to go into the custom and NX100 library, and then you have Mold Wizard. Um, you also have an env.dat, uh, one NX100 env.dat. Um, inside of that um, are some settings, um, and then inside of the Mold Wizard is a README file. Uh, I've opened that README file in Notepad++, and it kind of walks you through, um, you know, moving everything from the um, NX10 Mold Wizard folder into this Mold Wizard folder under your custom environment, and then also the download from GTAC for Mold Wizard, uh, putting all of that in this folder. The only one you won't um, copy from your C drive or your install directory is the application folder. So here on the left side I've got the uh, install directory um, and so you would copy all of these but not the application and then you download uh, mold wizard zip and also extract all those to here in addition you're gonna uncomment this, this uh, environment variable in the env file like I've done here and last it kind of talks about there is an issue with it not uh, repointing the templates. So the templates um, still need to come from your default install location, which I'll show here. <coughs> so under the default install in Mold Wizard, you have a pre part. Um, just to make sure, it, it doesn't look like I have all of these files in my uh, directory, so I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these. And then um, just do a test here to see if I'm accessing them. I've been testing this and I don't I don't believe that this will fix the issue that they mentioned in the readme file. Yeah. Okay, so that uh All right. So even if the pre part exists in your uh custom directory, it it doesn't look at that. All right. So we're going to work in the uh default directory. So I just wanted to point out here, um, I'm doing some testing, and so don't follow along in this section, but I decided not to edit it out so you can kind of see what I'm trying out. I'm basically um, trying to make it so that NX can't see the files so that I can verify which ones it's looking at. All right, so I just uh, finished I just realized I missed uh, something there, and so um, having those files there is working. Again, this is a uh, voice clip I'm adding after recording the initial video. Um, don't follow along here. I'm just doing one more test, and then I'll explain my test um, and review it with you a little bit but I just wanted to leave it in so you can uh, learn a little bit. Uh, end of narration.
All right, well, I just did a few tests, and it looks like, um, so basically uh, what I did was archived the pre-part in the standard install and um, renamed the pre-part in the custom folder. If that is the case, uh, Mold Wizard wasn't working. If this is named uh, as usual, the normal pre-part name without a dash one, then it will find this. If this uh, file is renamed or archived and the one in the default uh, install is not, then it will find the default install. Um, so I'll go ahead and show this again. So let's say I have dash one. I'm going to open a part. Go to modeling. mold wizard and it doesn't find any templates so this one's named the other one's archived if I unarchive this then it finds the templates If I archive this one and get this one back to the correct name, then it finds the template. So, not great. Um, you know, I guess uh, in in the end, it's your your call. Um, my suggestion would be. to archive what you could do so that you're not grabbing stuff from here is, is put everything in um, the archive folder except for application that one's needed um, in your regular install and then everything should be pulling from here um, if you do any major updates uh, you will need to be aware to check this mold wizard folder alright so we're gonna go ahead and close that um, you know, I, I try to show, uh, it's a balance between showing some of the troubleshooting and, and uh, editing that out. I find that customers like to see uh, the way I troubleshoot things, so I probably should have not paused my recording. Um, it sort of interrupted my flow of my recording, but I think it helps customers. So I at least wanted to have a review of what I did to test. Um, Mold Wizard is something I, I have spent a lot of time in, but uh, as of recently, I, I haven't been using it, and uh, so just needed to refresh myself on where it's at, and there's uh, updates to the way that it works um, with each, well, not with each release, but uh, they had mentioned that they're going to be changing the way that it works in one of the MP or MRs. So maintenance pack or maintenance release. All right, well, let's move on to uh, how to go ahead and edit your templates. Let's... All right, so under pre-part, um, if you open a metric uh, file, it's going to use the metric. Um, so this this file has been is a metric file, um, but you can change the units here. And so that would change which template you're looking at. So even if you open a metric file, you could force it to be uh, a, a, an inch project. So on that, um, what points to these is the pre-part config. Um, so if you want to add another config and leave the other ones untouched, that's one way you could go about it. Or you could um, basically add your own line. Um, I'll go ahead and um, you know so if you wanted to edit one of theirs which I don't think I, that's the way I would go about it unless you're going to do a backup um, plus uh, you're kind of protecting yourself against um, duplicates being found if you create your own folder so if for some reason uh, your main install is updated and now it um, includes pre-part um, with your new name it should still see your 
config and that wouldn't be overwritten. So I'm going to go ahead and go that route. Um, of course, if you want to shortcut it, you can just basically open the assembly file, the top assembly file, and then um, remove whatever files you want from that assembly and resave. <clears throat> so here we have the config name that shows up. which is this. And then uh, the directory. And then the top assembly name, whether it's uh, production or um, not. And then whether you want to clone. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a line, put ours, at the new one at the top. Kind of copy all this to start with. So I'll call it custom. So the less you change, the better. So now um, I'll go ahead and add that to the inch and metric. course I need to change this to English all right and then go to the directory and again because I didn't change too much uh, real easy to update and go to metric All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the metric. Um, actually, I'll do inch. All right, so I'm going to go in here, um, open the you know top part. Um, I think I'll go ahead and eh, I'll leave that. Yeah. All right, so I'll open the top part. So, you know, it doesn't matter too much. Now, there are certain things that NX is looking for. So, um, and attributes. I'm not going to go into that um, level of detail, but um, don't forget about um, your help. So, there's a whole section on help. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show how to simplify this. Um, I'll get rid of uh, metric fill and cool. And then save. And I should be able to delete or drag everything into archive aside from the top and when I resave all right that didn't work out Yeah, so it's it's a little bit tricky because um, whatever you delete, you don't have to um, remove them from this folder for it to be simplified because it will only open what it's referenced. But um, if you want your folder to be clean, I guess one way you could go about it is... Um, I thought that maybe that would update everything. All right, so copy everything back in. All 
I mean, obviously you can do a clone, but I'm just going to leave everything in there for this time. But you could make, you basically, if you delete one at a time, just delete them from your directory too, if you want your directory to be clean. But uh, you can see we made changes here. I'll go ahead and uh, save it. Close. Open a part. Go to modeling. Mold wizard. Initialize. Hopefully we didn't go back to uh, pointing at the default. Looks like maybe we need to um, restart NX. Oh, actually we are in millimeter. Hmm. All right, we'll restart NX. There we go. So we updated the inch. And it's uh, been simplified. So we got rid of cooling and everything. So there is a simplified template. All right. Well, that is um, basically how to edit your uh, template file. So um, hopefully this you find this helpful and uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any more questions. Thanks.